Okay, okay. Apparently now I'm live. You know, I'm, I'm using the new... By the way, everybody, hello everybody and welcome to another uh, uh, Happy Friday RV live, uh, live stream, live chat. And uh, apparently I'm using the new YouTube studio and uh, I realized that there is one extra step to start the stream uh, than before, you know. Before I would just use the, the software that I use and it would show up and now yeah in any case this is an extra step now and thank you so much all of you for being here let me get to some of your your questions here and uh barry edelman can you talk about in detail uh, co-op leasing programs for the on the internet for personally owned rvs and um i don't know that much about it never never used it i used to be an uh, uh an affiliate with a um, with rv share and there's RV share, there's Campanda, and um, yeah, you could you could use both. And um, there, I mean, there's supposed it's, it's an expensive proposition, no matter how you do it, because um, it is uh, it is expensive. But uh, it's a good way to test an RV if you don't know what you want for sure. Uh, let me see some of the comments here. Um, hello, IR. Hello, Lucky Dog is here. Jorge F, the, the the Big Ton Show. I'm dreaming. I'm never this early. Cool. Steve Moise. Uh, oh, no, I forgot the IPA. Oh, yeah, I'm still at work. Uh, talking about IPA, today we are drinking North High. You know, North High Brewing Company. Uh, we, that's where we held um, the meetup in Ohio. They're located in Columbus, Ohio. And, um, and my light is producing a reflection there that doesn't let you see it. And... Um, this is kind of on the light side, but it's a grapefruit, uh, grapefruit Wally Eye Session IPA. So, cheers. Oh, I spilled some. Mm, this is good. Hold on, I'll be right back. So uh, before we continue, I went uh, I went by the PO box uh, today this afternoon as I usually do on Thursdays or Fridays. I mailed uh, some CDs as well, and I got a couple of um, letters actually. This one from um, make sure I don't show addresses here from Crystal. Uh, she says hi Robert, my husband and I love watching your videos. Uh, we have two youngsters uh, we don't get to travel much uh, so your videos help us scratch the itch to see the world sent you a, a few stickers and a magnet i designed they're weatherproof feel free to use them or give them away to friends thanks for sharing your trips with us and she sent me this um they sent it i mean the magnet is um it's an egg <laughs> and uh, these are the the stickers they're really cool they're really cool stickers i might might put one in the back of mini tini Maybe the forest. This this kind of reminds me of, of of Washington or you know one of the western California, one of the western states for sure. And I got another one. I got a bunch of stuff. And last week I for the, the for the last two weeks I forgot to to show you guys some of the stuff that I've been getting from from you guys. Oh, this one this one comes with money money. Uh, <laughs> This one says, as a note, Robert, I really enjoy your show and your traveling. You're an inspiration for me uh, from Jorge Hernandez. And um, from Las Vegas. And uh, this one was last week. I forgot to show you guys from, uh, uh, from Alina from Pennsylvania. It's a nice postcard. And it has the thing that, that, you know, trailer that pops up like that. It's really cute. And this one had something extra inside as well. And uh, this one too. Yeah, that's about it. Um, and back there I have some things that... Um, let me show you. Gentleman David, he um, he's, he sent me these boxes, this box, this bag, 
care of Winnebago, you know, it has uh, an umbrella and uh, I, I wore the hat uh, on one of the live streams from, from Pennsylvania. And that was really cool and they make this uh, these bags that I guess you can put them over over like a bathroom door or yeah or something you know and uh, or put them like on the edge of a table like that it's called simply prudence creations from Bangor Maine so it's really cool check them out so um, yeah, lo lo lots of goodies that I hadn't shown you guys, you know, because um, uh, because I forget. <laughs> All right, let me read the comments here. Uh, oh, wow, you guys have been commenting a lot. Um, by the way, this is a somewhat a renovated studio here. I'm still working on it. Uh, but, um, but, yeah. Oh, this traveler is here. Um, Jorge, I was just thinking about this problem today. One is tongue weight and the other one is uh, flat tires. LOL. I'm running in my RV. I'm free in my RV. Love that tune. Thank you, Steve. Steve Caldwell. And the Big Tongue Show. Uh, Traveling Robert, where do I uh, send stuff? I want to send you something. And uh, here's my P.O. Box. Uh, if you want to send me something, uh, it's a P.O. Box 145012, Coral Gables, Florida. Uh, 33114 and um, and you can you can send me stuff there that's uh, my my PO box uh, AJ Osmani thank you for traveling and taking me with you you're welcome and Jackie Trujillo hi Robert how do people send you stuff to to you do I give them your address or email well my address don't give them my home address but give them my my PO box <laughs> um, you got any biscuits for sale there? Nope. Uh, Jim Kelly, Brooklyn, New York, where RV travel is impossible. Yeah, New York is, I mean, I, I've seen people do RVing in New York, but it's usually with with a small class B or C. And, uh, and uh, actually, uh, there's this, um, what's his um, Element Van Life, a YouTuber. I've, I, I think he's like urban, you know, boondocked. You know, he just parks on on the side of the street in New York, but he, he his uh, his rig doesn't look like an RV. You know, it's a, it's more like a stealth camping. So, um, but yeah, I, I see what you mean. H uh, and M Venture, Ola, Robert, Heidi, and I are going to camp uh, the Faria Beach Park. Oh, that's really cool. That's a really cool place in Ventura. Celebrating my retirement next month. Congratulations, guys! And um, yeah, yeah, I, I was at that. Um, we were there uh when was that in the in the winter beautiful area i, I thought far Far faria beach was a little you know packed a little too close to each other but then again so is uh rincon and and, and uh, this in faria beach you got hookups so yeah <coughs> eddie rodriguez la sauesera yeah that's what uh, some people call the miami southwest area uh, my second day in Maryland. It's great. Oh, cool. I, 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 I hope it's not as hot as it is down here. And, um, uh, Robert, difference between four wheel uh, TV versus two wheel, like, uh, like a travel trailer. You mean, uh, I hear four wheels that were like the one I have are much more stable. And I think, uh, in a flat tire situation, it would be better to have uh, four tires, but I've never towed a, a, a two, a two a single axle, so I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's what I hear. Hello from Sydney, Montana. I, I thought it was it was gonna be Sydney, Australia for a second. Sydney, Montana, and the sugar beet harvest. Oh, from Kevin and Becky Pritchard, of course. Uh, how's the sugar beet harvest going? I hear I heard that it was um snowing up there and they had to stop it um, uh, um richard ramirez from sombrero beach hey robert where's your glasses i forgot to, to put them on you know i don't really need them uh, unless uh, I, I need to look at something very far away and i'll be honest with you guys i fell asleep uh, <laughs> 
So uh, a half an hour ago, I was I was uh, you, know, you know the nap. You know all the all the civilized cultures they they they, they practice that ritual called a nap, and um, and uh, I I did get to take a quick nap, <laughs> and I forgot. I don't need him to 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 see something this distance. So yeah. Uh, in the drone, how long does it take you to typically edit one of your videos and what edit editing software do you use? It depends really how much, uh, uh, like Houston took forever because I had to do a lot of research. Um, but uh, it's usually about half an hour to an hour per minute. Uh, you see on, on, on screen, I use Adobe Premiere and, uh, and uh, I may have lost some footage, guys. <laughs> I just remember too now. I'm 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 trying to recover a new hard drive uh, that I um, where all the footage from San Antonio and part of Austin is located. So hopefully I can recover that. Uh, Jose Piedra, I am is your last gig uh, last week. The gig uh, any new gig coming up? No, nope, no, not really. Uh, not until December. I have a couple of private parties in December, and and I'm sure Leo will call me for for the casino at some point again, but. Yeah, the music business is is kind of slow, and and I and I'm really not not looking for for too many gigs. Let me tell you, um, Inverness, Florida. Hello there, I'm Max McLear, and my wife is camping near Sedona and lows in the twenties. Yeah, it's kind of still really really hot here. Uh, John De Jong, hello, traveling Robert, and greets from Lotte and Hannah. And Joseph, uh, hi Robert, from one musician to another, what equipment do you record on? I'm located here on the state line of Wisconsin and Illinois, and uh, hope you're warmer where you are. Yeah, the air conditioner hasn't stopped uh, today at all. Let me let me turn, turn off here my, my PO box. I hope you guys already uh, <laughs> wrote that one down. And... Um, well, I'm I'm using this new microphone that I see sometimes it kind of uh, over modulates, but it's it's, an, it's called the Fifine. It's it's a relatively inexpensive mic. That's what I'm using to 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 for for the live chats and everything because it is USB. It's very easy to just connect to the computer and use it. And um, I record, I compose on Logic Pro on a relatively old MacBook Pro. And uh, I usually record with an old Audio Technica. I, I forgot the the model number. They don't make it anymore. Uh, it's, it's, I've had it for twenty years. And um, and then to mix down, when it's a complicated song that has a lot of live uh, instruments and uh, like brass that I usually do a lot of salsa uh, tunes. I import it into Pro Tools to to for for for, for recording and the final mix down. And that's what I use. Don Holloway, thank you so much for that super chat. Hello, Robert. I officially became a Patreon two weeks ago. Yes, you did. Yes. Uh, uh, thanks for your last studio guest. Can't remember his name. Uh, yeah, Alex, CLT. Wife and I have had the pleasure of watching your YouTube channel for two years now. Thanks, Don and Maria. Well, cheers, Don, and thank you so much for becoming a Patreon. That, that's uh, really cool. And... Uh, And HD Don. And John Chalker. This is John Chalker from Waterbury, Connecticut. Connecticut. And I was just thinking of you, my brother, when I saw that you were on live. And tonight's dinner was tuna, tuna fish sandwiches in your honor. Oh, man. I'm, I'm hungry. And so as soon as, as, well, as, soon as we finish with this uh, live stream, I'm going to have me myself... Um, I might have pizza actually. Um, hey, Tony B, great work, Robert, on all you do. You are the reason our family wanted to travel trailer. Thanks. Any uh, any meetings in Florida anytime soon? I I might do something next month. Uh, I'm not sure yet, not certain, but uh, I would love to do one. Yeah, let's uh, let's see if we can get that organized. I think um, I think Alex Cruz uh, had uh, Alex CLT had an idea. Jay Barrett, thank you, Jay Barrett, thank you so much for that super chat, put your feet up, enjoy a case of IPA, you deserve it after all your travels, thank you so much, and I think I missed a couple of, um, oh, um, meet up in Florida, Maryland traffic is terrible, uh, Miami traffic is pretty bad too, howdy howdy from uh, Paima Tuning State Park in Northwest Pennsylvania, just returned from Yellowstone, 
Badlands and the Black Hills. Uh, left Spearfish, South Dakota, just in time to beat the snow. Yep, it's snowing up there. Our vacation and um, in Northwest Pennsylvania is probably going to get cold too. Um, soon, in any case. You know. uh, it doesn't get cold here in Miami. I don't know when. It, it's later and later every year. <laughs> uh, <coughs> sorry, Tony B, great work, Robin, on all you do. You are the reason. Oh, oh, I already read that one. Hey. Um, and Hunter Cooper, the first video I watched when you were in New York in 2012. That's when I drove Kia in the snow. Yeah, that was a cool trip, though. And I drove a, a, I drove into the Bronx and in Queens. And I don't know if that was a trip when I went to Coney Island. I think so, too. Yeah. I wanted to see some of some of the, oh, the, those places uh, because everybody goes to New York and everybody just do, does uh, uh, Manhattan, you know. And even then, sometimes they just do like middle Manhattan, or, you know, like upper Manhattan, and then they go downtown, see uh, see the World Trade Center, and go home. And, uh, and I wanted to, I always wanted to see the Bronx and Queens and all the other neighborhoods. And at some point, I want to ex explore all that uh, with a lot more time, uh, for sure. Jan de Jong, hi, Robert. Are you going to make one big film from your trip you made last winter? Um, yes, I am. Uh, I'm going to. I'm not going to make one big film because it would be six, seven hours, and um, that that could get long and boring. Not to mention it's pain uh, to to render it and uh, and to upload it. It's, it would take a long time. I, I I wouldn't be able to do a 4K to begin with. But I'm gonna do. Uh, when I have the time, um, like, like feature film length, like one and a half hours, two hours of uh, combining several, uh, several episodes from, from the winter trip. And those, the idea is to put those on Amazon as well. But, um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, Hunter Cooper, I, I would love to do a super chat, but I don't think I can. I think you have to have a, a, a credit card link to your Google account, I guess. And uh, there's a... Well, I don't see it, but you should be able to see the dollar sign. I see. Oh, this is new. Check it out. I hadn't seen this before. I'm using a new version of, of uh, the studio here. People, nature, how do I do this? Search emoji. Oh, emoji skin tone. Okay, never mind. I'm not smart enough to do this. Let's just put a pelican. All right. <laughs> I get, um. how do I get rid of this here? I get distracted easily, guys. <laughs> And Mark H, thank you so much for that super chat. I appreciate your videos, even the older ones. Do you miss the Kia? Keep up the great quality work and productions. God bless. Thank you so much. I miss the Kia sometimes. I'm, I, sometimes I kind of miss the simplicity of the Kia. That uh, when you locked uh, the doors, they stayed locked. When you unlocked the doors, they stayed unlocked. They didn't respond to some uh, um, algorithm, things like that. But um, I've kind of made my peace with the Colorado. Is is the Colorado is you know it has been a, a reliable machine. So um, that's all that really matters, right? You you get used to the other annoyances. Um, all right, I'm getting a lot of comments, but I saw a couple of long ones. Oh, the, the motorhome experiment is here. Paul and Lorena. Lorena just got her citizenship this afternoon and we decided to jump on for a second. Hope you're well, my friend. Uh, yes, congratulations, Lorena. And um, it's really cool. Yeah, I saw something on the, on the, on the on, was it on the Facebook? I think it was on Facebook. So that's really cool. Well, enjoy Las Vegas while you're there. And, um, oh, Gary and um, Gary Christensen, have you had snow in Miami before? I believe in 1976. It snowed uh, for like a second and it melted even faster. But yeah, Christopher also. Hello, Robert was listening to your podcast. Almost missed this live stream. Oh, cool. Yeah, the podcast came out this morning. And um, yes, do you ever want to go back and visit family in Cuba? One of these days I might when, when as I say, whenever the Cuban government lets me go as an American citizen, I will go. 
uh, but it's it's uh, and I have family, but I, I I don't have a whole lot of family. Most people are are on this side of the of the Straits of Florida. Um, Sarah Heimers, good evening, Robert. We will miss the Sunshine State, which seems pretty rainy today. Uh, we love Florida, though. Sorry, we missed you yesterday. Oh, you were okay. Yes, uh, yesterday you, you left me the um, in my in my 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 my. Uh, you, actually, where's that uh, sticker? It's somewhere in the. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. I'm back. This house is too big. Uh, follow your American road trip. Complete the states. Uh, sorry, I missed you too yesterday. Yeah, it is raining today. It's it's as a you know it's it's some some of those things. Sometimes you get like a whole week where it doesn't rain, and then a whole, a whole week that it doesn't stop raining. Uh, hello, when are you coming back from to, to Georgia? Well, I just I just came from there, kind of. So. Um, uh, I don't know if we're gonna go back to Georgia on our way to Minis on the Mountain, but we might. Orlando Meetup uh, Fun Spot, YouTube pays for it. Let's make that happen. YouTube does? Yes. Okay, let's do that. Orlando Meetup, that'll be cool. Okay, let me scan through he this real quick here. Uh, Radu, what is your opinion on LaCie HDD you use when you are on the road? They're slow, but they're very reliable. Uh, and uh, I'm, I just I just got a SanDisk uh, um, SSD to edit video and it failed on me and uh, that's that's the hard drive that is keeping San Antonio and Austin uh, um, hostage inside it. So um, I might have to do like the the next video New Mexico and do them out of order. <laughs> this is crazy. So um, and I might not be able to recover uh, the footage from San Antonio. Which is very unfortunate because we had the the rally with RV caravan with us with uh, Paul and Tina, and uh, it was a fun time. So, uh, when you're in your trailer and it's freezing, do you worry about pipe freezing on your rig and any special uh, thing you do to prevent anything special I should consider before planning a trip? Well, Minitini has all the plumbing inside, so so um, I don't have any pads on my tanks that would be the next thing you know to try to retrofit it with with heat pads on the, on the tanks but um it's been in the teens but like an overnight deep freeze like in the teens is that a deep freeze no, not really but um and i've survived it with no problem so um and that was uh in um in oklahoma city oh that was, that was a cold night but i don't do anything special I just crank up the furnace, you know, really hot, so, so it, it you know, that, that, and that kind of radiates down, you know. Uh, uh, Robert, would you please comment on your choice of the Colorado for towing? I wanted to get the smallest truck I could get away with, and it was either a Colorado or a Tacoma, and I eventually decided for the Colorado because it's more roomy in the cockpit, and um, that's about it. The, the Ford didn't have the Ranger at the time. Uh, series are good length doing a, a long film. My attention span is good for 30 minutes, unless when I'm driving my class B for 10 hours. Well, for that, we have podcasts and audiobooks. <laughs> and um, thank you. Uh, this isn't where I park my car. Okay. Yeah, I do. I do both because a, a, a lot of people like the the experience of sitting down for an hour or two in front of the TV. A lot of people watch my my videos on TV. Actually, I've, I've been looking at my stats, and um, that seems to be the case. So I do both, uh, but the videos on this current series are going to be more or less thirty minutes. I'm trying to keep them that length. Houston was forty because uh, forty-two minutes because it, it was a lot to see, and I didn't. I mean, I barely scratched the surface. Houston is such a, such a like, huge, um, 
city. 1968, Damaris Pichardo, have you ever had a thousand trails yearly pass? I had it for the first year because it was free. It came included with the trailer. And um, the thing is, I live in South Florida. There's only one park relatively close if we wanted to go for like a weekend thing. You know, the ones that are totally free. It's uh, it's in Wachula, uh, Florida. It's that Peace River, Thousand Trails. I would get I would get, would get really good deals probably going to to the two encore properties in the Florida Keys, which are Fiesta Key and the Sunshine Key. But uh, I currently don't. I did I did have the the Thousand Trails membership for a while. And if you have a lot of parks near you, and you. Uh, you you travel a lot like I do now. When I when I first got it, I was still a weekender and uh, and it was a it was a real real hassle even to 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 go out on a weekend because you have to drive three hours to the closest uh, thousand trails, and I got out of work at six. Uh, so um, yeah. Oh, red Jaguar riding in my RV, <laughs> and. Um, I thought you were in the shower where I tuned in. Yeah, it's it's really raining out there, and this room doesn't have a whole lot of um, insulation. And Ivan Babyak, Ivan Babyak from the Ukraine, from Ukraine. I, I, I understand you're not supposed to say the Ukraine. It's just Ukraine without without the. Well, welcome. Thank you for coming. Stressless camping. Did I miss what IPA you're enjoying? Well, today we're having. I have a little bit left here. Uh, North High Grapefruit uh, IPA. It's a session IPA from North High. Uh, th thanks to Gavin, the, the owner that gave me a, a bunch of uh, beers to, to bring to Florida. And uh, that was one of them. Uh, so if you are in Columbus, Ohio, it's a, it's a, it's a nice uh, place. Uh, the whole street is under construction right now, but when they finish, it's going to be great. Uh, North High Brewing. Um <clears throat> I can't believe you climbed the mountain in Utah. Yeah, that was that was a fun, uh, probably probably dangerous climb. At, 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 you know, but you know that's you know it's uh, it's uh, it was definitely something unique, and I, I might do it again one day. Uh, w five ci videos. Uh, uh, thanks. You uh, you went to Paris, Arkansas to see the Eiffel Tower and, and Mount Magazine. Yes. Um, I don't know where I heard of those places, but I, I probably saw another YouTuber go there and I wanted to, to see it myself. Uh, love your show. I'm from John French. Uh, follow regular, regularly living in Camp Zama, Japan. Our home is Melbourne, Florida, and I can't wait to get back and start riding in our RV. Oh, well, cool. And I, I, I do want to go to Japan. You know, they, they rent you. It's not an RV, but they rent you like these small vans that you can drive around the, the, the islands. That would be cool. One of these days, Japan is one of those countries that really uh, I would love to visit. Uh, is the Colorado half ton? Seems like you get pretty good mileage. Yes, I, I think I do believe it is half ton. It can tow seven, a little over seven thousand uh, pounds. And towing, I get I do like thirteen, around thirteen ish. I've done high twenties. In, in the you know going like 60 mile, miles per hour in flat terrain i've done like high 20s for sure uh, what's the best rv trade show in florida i would have to say the florida super show that it happens now in january um hunter cooper thank you so much i'm glad you like that video and joaquin polanco high river we are going to the jacksonville rv show tomorrow well, enjoy uh, what what are you what are you thinking of buying? And um, uh, worst experience and best experience you've ever had in an RV? Uh, well, I have a couple of b b bad experiences, of course. I have I've had a couple of gr many, mostly great experiences. It's a hard question to to answer, and I'll have to come up with uh, you know with a top five at least. Worst experiences. Oh, probably that one time that I that I dropped Minitini in a ditch. Don't tell, don't tell uh, Wanabego I did that. But um, that happened uh, not long ago. Because you know I forgot one of the main uh, rules. It's called goal, goal. Like you know what, like in, in, in soccer when they you know they, they kick the ball inside the the, the thing. Uh, goal, go go out and look. 
And I didn't go out and looked, and I didn't realize that there was a big rock and a ditch behind it. I eventually I was able to <clears throat> to get Minitini out of there, but that was a that was a mistake for sure. Best experience is being able to to see so many places uh, 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 here in the United States that um, I mean Canada and eventually Mexico that uh, that otherwise you know I, I I would have never been able to see it like I've seen them like I've been to, I had been to the Grand Canyon before but I took the plane from uh, from Vegas uh, that stayed at a hotel or I do, do I drove from Vegas and stayed at a hotel it's not the same when you are Staying in the middle of nature there, you know, and, um, yeah. Uh, okay, I already answered uh, Thousand Trails. Okay, if I missed your question, uh, I'll answer, I'll try to answer it in the podcast next Friday. <laughs> Eddie Rodriguez, will you be visiting Disney's for Wilderness anytime soon? Probably not. <laughs> Is it true that your mini teeny weighs only 3,000 pounds? You know, I, I should weigh it, have it weighed it at one of those uh, cat scales. It's supposed to be 3,000 dry. But I don't think that even includes the, the, the awning. So uh, 3,000 dry is probably 4,000 after all is said and done. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, traveling down the banisters. Hey, traveling... Uh, Traveling, Nate Dog. Congrats, man. We do too. We will check out your videos. Okay, so we have a. Okay, that that was uh, that wasn't directly, directly at me. Okay, here we go. Hi from Maine. Traveling, Robert. Because of your videos, I'm starting ma to make videos as well. So I'm planning to start traveling soon. Cool. I'll check out your channel. Can I do that? No. Yeah, I could do it from here, right? Yeah, go to channel. No, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> back, back, back. And now what happened? Here we go. Okay, I, I won't be doing that again. <laughs> um, uh, okay, uh, 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 Aramis 2 also bought a Sony FDR AX53 video camera, but I can't get it with stabilization. Can you tell me how to set it up? It should work out of the box. Uh, it should stabilize out of the box. If, if it doesn't, then, then there might be something wrong with your camera. Uh, during your travels, what percentage of time do you spend boom docking versus uh, paying at a park? It depends. This last trip, I didn't boom dock all that much. Uh, first of all, my battery is kind of shot. I, I killed it. For, for real, my I, I, one one day I, uh, and, I and it, it happened. It happened to happen at the one campground that didn't allow generators. Um, but uh, I I boondocked in California and a couple of casinos on this trip. And yeah, it's it it, 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 it all depends on the weather, and whether I I, I want to spend some time in the area or if it's just a quick overnight. And I do a lot of Walmarts. By the way, Sam P, thank you so much for that super chat. Gas Money, love your videos. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And yeah, gas was probably the number one expense in this uh, past uh, trip. And uh, Hunter Cooper, I like when you went to Asheville. Asheville is a cool town. I want to go back. And uh, Richard Ramirez, was Walmart your worst experience as far as trouble? It probably could have been, at least it was the most uncomfortable one uh, I, because of safety issues. Uh, Caroline N. Okay, not answering my question. LOL. Uh, what's your question, Caroline? You see too many... Is Carol, Carol Melendez? No, that's a, that's a different Caroline. Carol... Caroline, hi Robert, you like your videos, why doesn't your wife travel with you? Well, she does, actually, she just doesn't like to be on camera. I just wonder, because if my husband were traveling, I would love to go. Yeah. And sometimes she can, because she, she, she has to, 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 she has a job, you know. But uh, whenever, whenever we can, we travel together, uh, for sure. 
Uh, Davy VTV, hello Robert from Rochester, New York. Robert, I've never visited my parents' homeland, Cuba, but I was wondering if RV is popular in Cuba, if there are any campers. Yeah, there's a company called, uh, if you want to go, if you are able to go, it's called uh, uh, Cuba on the Go. And they have, uh, they have a couple of European style uh, class C's, you know, with the cassette toilet. Uh, and there are a handful of campgrounds in the western half of the island. I would say about 15 uh, campgrounds. So yeah, there's RVing in Cuba, believe it or not. And um, whenever I'm able to go, that's that's the way that I'm gonna see the island. I'll, I'll probably spend a couple of days in Havana and then and then grab one of those. I mean, if you, if you, if we we are able to to grab it, as, as Cuban Americans, the, the, we get a lot of restrictions when we go to Cuba too. It's not like at least it used to be. The last time I was in Cuba was 20, 2004. <laughs> Was it or 2003? It was New Year's Eve 2004. And uh, th uh, back then there were certain things like uh, like a, a foreigner from Canada, for example, could rent a cellular phone and get an account back then. And I, uh, things have, sh have changed, of course. But I, as a Cuban American, couldn't do it because I guess, uh, you know, certain things like that that, that are puzzling. In a country where many things are puzzling. <laughs> Darn last connection. Uh, have you been to Navarre Beach Campground? No, I have not, actually. Shout out to Alisa and Bradley. Hello there. I'm traveling the, down the banisters. Will you be at Quartzsite, Arizona or Fort Myers, Florida show this year? Not at Quartzsite. I'm going to be at the, at the Tampa RV show in January, most likely. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. More home experiment. Time for us to cruise the Las Vegas trip. See you later, my friend. Hey, congrats to Lorena again. And uh, enjoy Las Vegas, man. I, I, I can't wait to go back. It's, it's, a, it's a fun town. For sure. Maybe I'll, I'll be able to camp at Valley of Fire next time I go. Uh, William Irris, uh, Andrew and Monica, hello there. Can you give us a tour of your studio? Well, it's kind of messy on the other side. I had the camera. Actually, I put the, this uh, little camera on the suction cup that, that I use in the car because right here, what I have is a, is a glass and the recording room on the other side. And the studio is pretty much this. I, I got this new table and uh, this is the keyboard that I bought in. I bought it in Texas, actually. This keyboard has traveled all over the country with me because I bought it to be able to, to do music on the road. Coño. That was a big uh, thunder. We might lose power here soon. <laughs> uh, can you try California Highway 395 road trip? Yeah, I just did. I, that, that was uh, a part of this long road trip that I did. The 395 is amazing. Amazing, amazing. And I, and I want to do it again at some point. Campground in Cuba. KK. Yes, there's the, the, there's the, this. Uh, check it out. CubaOnTheGo.com. I think that's what it's called. And I shouldn't be plugging them, but I was uh, pleasantly surprised. No, that's not it. No, it's not Cuba on the go. It's Cuba on the road, I think. Yeah, that's it. Cuba on the road. <laughs> Let me see if I can. Can I do or can I not do? Hold on. Hold on. Yes, I just have to do this real quick. Here. But that's not what I want. I want to shoot there. You see, they have this little, uh, like a European style RV. <laughs> um, <clears throat> where was I? Here we go. Okay. Uh, can you read shit music? I love your music. I listen on Spotify. I can read it, but not sight read it. Um, I never, never learned. You know, I, it, this is what happened when I was studying music. I would memorize the songs uh, too quickly, so I, um, I would never, you know, by ear I would memorize them. So, forty degrees in southern Wisconsin. Not looking forward to the cold. Uh, well, I, I could use a little bit of cold. Let me tell you, because it's, it's probably 
twice as much here in Miami, even with the rain. It's probably 80 degrees out there. Uh, John French, if you decide to come to Japan, let us know and we'll gladly host you and your wife for a few days. That would be really cool. Uh, have you been to Sequoia National Park? No, I didn't. I didn't do it this time. I went to Yellowstone instead. But uh, next time, next time I'm in California for sure, Sequoia. I will. You're welcome, Davy. Davy V TV Jorge F. Uh, recommend a place to stay in the Keys. Thank you. <clears throat> no, Robocall. And in the Keys, boy, it's camp campground, man. You are you are almost walking distance to Key West, biking distance for sure. <clears throat> Radu Steforak. Which one do you prefer, the Sony X3000 or the GoPro 7 Black? I would like the Sony X3000 with some of the stabilization and features of the GoPro. The Sony X3000 has much better audio, much better lens, but the GoPro, the stabilization is incredible. When, when it's light, bright, you know, in a, in a dark room, it no, does not work as, as well. And uh, the, the, and I would like to have a, a viewfinder or a screen. You know, the GoPro has a has a screen in the back. The, the Sony does do, doesn't. I mean, you can buy an uh, an extra screen, but then that adds to, to the size of things. So yeah. Um, Robert Taylor, greetings from New Orleans. Uh, addicted to your videos and wife uh, loves theme music. What is your ideal trip length in terms of time? Three or four months. It's, uh, you know, if you want to see the other side of the country, it, <laughs> it really depends. I mean, I, I know most people cannot take three or four months, but you can do a lot in two weeks, I guess. Uh, but it, it really depends. It really depends what you, uh, what you can do. Eventually, I would, I would love to be able to travel indefinitely, you know, and, um, uh, okay, what else? Mama Sky, uh, hello from Utah. Come visit us next time you are driving to the West. Definitely. So many things that I haven't seen in Utah yet. Uh, I haven't seen Salt Lake City. And, you know, I like cities as much as I like the, the nature. And in, in Utah, I still haven't seen one of the, of the great five uh, national parks, and that's Canyonlands. Uh, John Shocker, dear rubber, uh, this is, uh, yes, uh, if you watch Nomadic Fanatic, uh, uh, boom, boom Duct in New York, Hebron from one, yeah, I, I remember Nomadic Boom Ducking in New York, I think he didn't, it was a, was it a Brooklyn that he Boom Ducked? I remember, I actually, I think I pinned, uh, put a pin in my map where I think he did it, that, that's not something that I would do with a trailer, uh, but if I had a small class C for sure, I could try that. Uh, looks like you lost some weight. Yeah, I've lost some weight. Um, uh, in, uh, traveling at the Manisters, if you go to Tampa show, we hope to see you there. We uh, li li Leave your videos. You have been to many exact places we have been, uh, even the rest areas. Yeah. <laughs> Derek Whitworth, yeah, that thunder was really loud. It's, it scared the crap out of me. <laughs> have you been uh, running more? Yeah, every morning. Almost every morning. Uh, 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 Adrian Dak Mountains, not during Black Fly season, home of the 1932 and 1980 Lake Placid Winter Olympic Games. Yes, I've heard of that place. And uh, from Charlotte, North Carolina, cool town, Charlotte. I want to go back. You going back to Colorado soon? Probably not. It's going to be. Maybe next to. Uh, not this coming summer, the summer after, who knows, but mm, I don't have any plans to go to Colorado, so. Sony all the way except battery usage, I agree with the Red Jaguar. The, the GoPro is nice as, as a trailer camera on the top of the trailer, it works really well. But uh, yeah, the Sony is a better camera altogether, if the battery would only last uh, longer, it would be. <coughs> Uh, Nico, hi from Belgium. Love watching your videos and uh, trips with my dad. Thank you so much. Planning to go to Florida in January for the Super Bowl ambiance. Uh, 
Maybe go to Atlanta or New Orleans, but don't know which is better. I would go to New Orleans if I were you. Atlanta is a it's big city. It's the big city of the South, of course. And a uh, crazy big city. But I think Atlanta has uh, is more unique. I mean, uh, uh, New Orleans is more unique for sure. Um, but it really depends. They're both great cities. Um... Luis Mesa, my girlfriend laughs because I sing your intro all the time. <laughs> and uh, hello, when will you come to visit Belgium? I would love to go. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to thinking as uh, I'm kind of thinking summer 2021, do a European uh, trip. Maybe earlier, if if the conditions uh, happen earlier, you know we don't have to plan that far ahead. But. Um, but definitely would love to do maybe the, the Benelux uh, area, the Belgium, Netherlands, uh, Luxembourg, of course, France. And uh, who knows? Who knows? It's Italy for sure. I've never been to Italy. Uh, heading up to Michigan for. Yeah, I, I miss the fall colors in Michigan. Chris, Chris Efting. And um, Hunter Cooper, I have a cannon power shot, and I and I do like it. Yeah, eventually I'm gonna have to replace my Sony AX53, and when that type comes, uh, definitely. Traveling at the banisters, we are planning a trip to Tokyo. Yeah, Tokyo, it's a. Uh, I find that the, the the culture so intriguing. It's it's one of I, I was reading. It's one of these countries that <coughs> excuse me that stayed isolated from the rest of the world for so long that they developed a very unique uh, a culture. So I would love to do that and see it. And um, William recited Robert. My question is on the six twenty eight post. What's the 628 post? I have to go back to 628 at the time. Oops, uh, that's going to be difficult now, but uh, I'll, I'll answer it if you repost it or or I'll, I'll try to do it on the on the podcast next week. Dolores and Bruce. Uh, hey, Robert, love your videos. Hoping to meet you at the Tampa show. We'll be, we will be coming from a week at Fort Wilderness. Hope we can tell you we had a great time. You probably w will. And I just had a bad luck, I think. James S., I look forward to Sundays because of your videos. Make them 45 minutes. 30 seems too fast. Yeah, and the, 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 the next one is going to be 42. It's just, you know, it's a... And this is the cool thing about YouTube. I, I'm, not, I'm not on TV when I have to hit a certain mark. And so I just make them as, as long as I have footage, you know. I, I could... I, I cut a lot of stuff. I could elongate them. But then some people would would be bored. I don't know, but uh, definitely um, some of the videos in this series are definitely going to be longer than 30 minutes. It is also, the longer the video, the longer it takes me to edit, so it, it takes a lot longer to um, to do that. Uh, okay. Uh, hello from New Jersey. My family really enjoys your videos. Uh, seeing you on Amazon Video 2 recent, too, recently. Way to go. Thank you so much. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm up uploading all these videos to Amazon as well, this new series. But Amazon, Amazon takes forever to approve them. It's not like YouTube that, that I, I could have them available immediately. Amazon has to approve them and make sure that, you know, I, that they have certain restrictions. But definitely. Uh, Jackie uh, Trujillo, Robert, what new video for Sunday? I'm having Thanksgiving in Toronto this Monday. All right, this Sunday is Houston, Texas. We're going to see the Space Center. We're going to see downtown, hang out. We're going to hang out with another YouTuber, uh, Wanderlust Estate. Uh, and uh, what else? We went to the San Jacinto Monument, San Jacinto. I always mispronounce it. And uh, we did a bunch of stuff. It's a cool city, uh, Houston. Discovering Loch Ness. Uh, thank you so much for that super chat. Good evening from Gator Dwight here on Fort Myers Beach. Beautiful and breezy here. Happy camping to all you peeps out there. Well, it's, it's raining nonstop here uh, in Miami. So cheers to you. 
And good evening. I would like to plan road trip for 10 days in USA, but hesitate between Miami, Orlando, or San Francisco, Las Vegas. Nothing against Miami, Orlando, but I would do San Francisco, Las Vegas. If that were you. Uh, yeah, the, the, the natural beauty out there is, is, is unmatched. I mean, unless you really, really want to see Mickey Mouse, I would go to uh, San Francisco, Las Vegas. And see what's in between. How many miles do you have on Minitini now? Uh, how about what about the truck? I don't know. I, I haven't updated my Excel file yet that I have on Minitini. It's. I, I think I kind of estimated it uh, on the on the five year uh, review video. It's many many thousands of miles. Probably seventy thousand miles on Minitini. I don't know. This this last trip alone was over eighteen thousand miles. So, um, uh, Andy K, glad I just sat down and catch you live. I want to know, do you ever come across dangerous animals on your trips? You know, poisonous, poisonous snakes. I saw a, a rattlesnake in, in California this, uh, this time around. I have great footage of it. Hopefully I won't, I won't, I won't uh, lose that footage, but yeah. But not really, not really. I haven't be really uh, encountered any dangerous animals. And uh, in the desert, what I hear is when it's cold. And that that Paul from the motorhome experiment told me that. So if it's not true, it's it's his uh, <laughs> fault. Uh, but he told me that in the in the winter, the snakes and the and the what are they called? The scorpions. They don't really come out. Um. And how long does, does it take to render a 45-minute 4K video? About an hour, a little over an hour. It really depends on how many, uh, you know, color corrections or effects or things of that nature uh, I do. But, uh, yeah. Okay, James, you may think it's boring because you're showing how much gas is or your cooking techniques, etc. But it is very interesting and, and uh, you're so down to earth. Well, thank you. I'm glad you like all those stuff. Yeah, I like, I, but I'm, I like to mix it up <clears throat> a little bit, you know. And, uh, yeah. Iliase, Nico, yes, I'm from Namur, and I love all his videos because his videos, I want to plan a road trip USA. And uh, Hunter Cooper, Miami is warm weather forever, that I sure. Yeah, it's, uh, it, uh, we, we get a couple of chilly days a year, sometimes every three or four years. But uh, I remember when I first arrived in Miami, it, it would freeze once in a while every you know at least once a once a year or once every two or three years i don't think it's frozen in miami since 2012 like below 32 fahrenheit zero celsius where did you get that shirt oh my mom gave it to me this one i like it one of my favorites actually it probably looks a lot better on tv than in real life i've worn it so much Is your son a musician and does he help you make music? Uh, no, he's not. Um, I pretty much do it all myself. I have some musician friends that sometimes help me out, like my friend Chuchi with trumpets and stuff, but 90% of the stuff is just me. Uh, Polly P. In all your travels, have you ever seen anything out of the ordinary, like Strange Lights, uh, Sasquatch, uh, Mothman, you know, anything... Very strange that you couldn't explain. Not really. There's a there's a time lapse from uh, Marfa, where there's a, a light in the sky that kind of looks like a UFO. But other than that, not really. Never seen anything that you would consider strange like that. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. 
My wife and I, uh, Chuck Mac McIntosh, my wife and I sing your, the intro song too. We're having a snow day due to Colorado low blowing up uh, into Winnipeg, home of the Winnipeg Jets hockey team. Go Jets, go. All right. Heading back to Key West again soon, probably January, February. I'll try to, try to go down there. Woo, this is going fast. Sunshine Key for two weeks. This will biker rally next uh, week. Fantasy Fest. Oh, yes, right. Fantasy Fest. I sure can pick when the time comes. Yeah, fan I, I, wa I, wanna, I wanna do a video at Fantasy Fest one of these days. I'm afraid I might get demonetized though. Uh, which is the most expensive gas in the States when you travel? That would be Death Valley, California. It was like five bucks a gallon. James S. Is your neighbor still playing his music loud? That was funny when you made that comment about him thinking everybody likes his music. He does from time to time. I'm sure now Thanksgiving he's going to throw one of his parties. What can you do? One of these days I'm going to play the music even louder. <laughs> uh, John Chucker. Hello. And all the other are asleep because they are hibernating. Okay, there you go. And uh, Hunter Cooper, you should check out Atlantic Beach in North Carolina. Also, the east end of US 64. One of these days. Liz Tattle, dude, we love the song. Loving all the videos. Thanks for helping us choose the keys. Where do you think we should watch Super Bowl in Miami? I don't know. I'm going to watch it here in my house. Uh, we could go to any sports bars or, you know, probably we are going to have a, a big party. Craig Bates, you travel a lot. Do you ever get tired of being on the, and you wish you were home? Sometimes I do. Many times, especially it can, it can get lonely when I, when I do it solo, as, you know, part of the trip uh, has been solo. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, Ricky Top, uh, uh, RK, RKY here listening in, great videos, thank you, uh, Active Dreamer, hey Robert, finally for the first, first time I'm in a live stream of yours, I've been following since April last year, well thank you so much for following and uh, welcome to the club man, we have a great time here every Friday at 6pm Eastern and uh how long have you and your wife been married well let me tell you we met in high school so i'll i'll i'll, I'll give you that, that much um uh, you did not meet mothman you'd know no i haven't met mothman no uh, if you could buy an rv without any price restrictions what would you buy um <clears throat> It will be one of these nice B pluses, for sure. Like uh, fully loaded, uh, uh, um, XLTS. Which one is it? The Pleasure Way XLTS or a fully loaded Wanabago View? Um, if we could, if I could make a make a Wanabago View without the slide, that would be the perfect RV for me. Uh, I'm interested in making a trip out west again, but this time um, a place with the best night sky. Any suggestions? I, um, Goosenex State Park in... Uh, I can never remember if... Uh, that's in Utah, near Mexican Hat, Utah. That's where I saw the best night sky, anyway. Uh, anywhere ar around that area, pretty much. Uh, somebody, I, I, I lost the, the comment. Someone asking if, if I'm ever planning to, to go uh, RVing in Europe, and we did uh, last uh, last spring, not this spring that just passed, the one before. We went to, if, uh, if you recall, uh, the videos are there. We went to Finland, Norway, and a little bit of Sweden. And uh, our good friend uh, Piteri uh, from Finland, uh, he, he let me borrow <coughs> one of his RVs. So he has an RV rental company. RV. 
What's the name? Uh, Savonia Caravan dot com. And so it's better to choose Los Angeles, Vegas than Miami, Orlando. I would. I mean, I've lived in Miami all, all my life, and uh, but that's just me. And Orlando, if uh, except for the theme parks. I mean, there's stuff to see, but it's it's not as 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 much as many things to see as you would in, in, in and um, and, the, and the drive from Los An from from Los Angeles to Las Vegas is a beautiful drive. I've never done San Francisco to Las Vegas, but Los Angeles to Las Vegas is gorgeous. And uh, Robert Taylor, thank you for the thank you so much for that super chat. First of all, and thank you for the many great videos and the smile you're writing in my RV songs puts on my wife's face. Uh, can you sing a bar or two, please? Definitely. Although today my voice is not uh, at its best, but I'm riding, riding in my RV. And uh, are you coming to Toronto, Canada in 2020? Maybe, maybe. I don't know. I, I, it's not in the plans, but I could always do Toronto. I love Toronto. Uh, we, I, I've, been only, I've only been there for two days, really, but I really like it. Suggestions for a restaurant at Sunshine Key. Sunshine Key only has the campground, so you would have to go down to uh, to Marathon. You know what? I don't know if there's a restaurant inside the Sunshine Key campground. I would I would imagine there is because there's nothing else on that island. Uh, I look forward to viewing all the summer 2019 videos. I do too. I really want to finish uh, editing those. Let me check something real quick here in my other computer. Yeah. If anybody knows a good uh, hard drive recovery company, let me know because uh, it doesn't look like my my hard drive with the San Antonio and Austin footage wants to revive. <laughs> Ever consider fiberglass shop camper like a scamper uh, uh, Oliver escape? Actually, Olivers are really cool. I considered a casita before buying a uh, Minitina the trailer. They're very nice and they're virtually indestructible, so I would consider one for sure. Uh, Robert, you should get an award uh, for cinematography and sound quality. Thank you so much. I try, I try to make it as 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 sound and look as good as possible. Uh, Louis Gerrits, Robert, I like your slim, you on Slim Potato Heads videos. Yes, I like him too. I've watched a couple of his. He has the A-frame trailer. Uh, that's the best quality and content. Good morning, Robert from Singapore. And you might be the one furthest away. I think we had someone from Australia earlier, but yeah. Robert Taylor, she has a big green. Thank you. You're very, you're very welcome. And Liz Tattle. Uh, thanks for answering my question, Robert. We are in Miami for our honeymoon in February from from London. Hope to bump into you and snorkel with some manatee. Uh, yeah, and February is the right month to snorkel with the manatees. If you can make it to one of the hot springs on the on the Gulf Coast, probably. Not, they're not hot springs. They're just springs. And David Irwin, what RV park would you recommend for staying in Huntsville, Huntsville Alabama? Montesano State Park is very nice. Second vote for Toronto, Canada. Yeah, definitely. I would love to see that. Uh, Waterbury, uh, uh, John Chucker. I would like to know how come I don't see any monitors. Any monitor or monitors? I don't know. What do you mean monitors? Uh, Veronica Alvarado did a road trip from Florida to Niagara Falls this summer. Uh, thanks to to your videos for inspiring me. Just uh, need my own mini tini now. That's got to be a great road trip to Niagara Falls. I want to go back to Niagara Falls. So we were there, uh, I think it was 2013. And... Um, it was, uh, we, we didn't spend enough time. And someone is speaking French and uh, I could translate it. No, my French is not that good. I beg ma femme that I understood. 
uh, very Edelman uh, uh, will the group welcome a day tripper by car to meet uh, all the great uh, Pelicans in Huntsville I don't see why not I I haven't spoken to them but I, I would like to do a meetup in Huntsville if, if at all possible you know the the the, the rally the, the, the schedule is super tight uh, so I may not be able to to spend a whole lot of time but you know, I I, sh I have forgotten to do that. I, I need to do that. Man, this was a good IPA. Uh, Tampa John Boondocks is south of you in Kajoki. Yeah, I like Boondocks. They have great cheese balls. Uh, Tampa John saw a couple Pelicans at Sunshine Key. Third of you and the Pelican heads. Cool. And uh, we have a, someone from Vietnam. All right. I think Singapore is further away, but you guys are close. You are the furthest away from, from where I am, somewhere down there. It's morning in Vietnam, for sure, right? Um, watching your Four Corners videos and live stream. Uh, we're from Dade City, Florida. Dade City, cool town. It looks like a... It has a southern charm. I've been there. And uh, William Overlander, Minitini is awesome. And you've done so much to improve her. Awesome, cool. Yes, uh, definitely. And there's a couple more things. I want to I wanna upgrade my batteries before... before. I mean, if, if for real I'm going to do Alaska, I need to solve my, my, my issue with the axles. So I don't wear out the tires and I want to lift it, put a lift kit on it too. So we'll see. How comfortable are you flying your drone? You know, it's like everything. At the beginning, I was super nervous every time I put that thing in the air. And uh, and uh, then you kind of learn with time, you know. And uh, still, once in a while, I get a scare. You know, I was flying it uh, somewhere near around Lake Tahoe, and I lost connectivity. And it does come back, but then uh, the place... Where it wanted to land, it, it, it couldn't land. So it stayed there hovering in the air. Like, eventually I, I gained connectivity again. But that, that's my main fear nowadays is, is crashing, it and losing, crashing it and losing the, the footage. I mean, losing the drone too. But uh, I think but by now I've got my money's worth. <clears throat> and uh, I hope you post post shorter more frequent videos and then hit us with your epic fil films if i'm able to work ahead enough i'm gonna start uh, posting twice a week wednesdays and sundays but for now wednesdays is gonna be i have a couple more reviews and i know you, you guys don't watch those too much but like you know i, I sometimes i i take review uh, products if i think it's something that i really want or if i think that it's something that seems to be good like this microphone, for example. I wanted a free mic. I got a free mic and I get the review video. And it works pretty well. I mean, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, what, it's like 40 bucks, I think, on Amazon. And for the price, it, it sounds really well. Although nowadays, it's hard to find a bad mic. I don't know what the people at the GoPro did, but the, 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 Go, the mic inside the GoPro 7, it's, I don't know. Don't get me started. <laughs> Are you doing another three-month road trip in 2020? Probably uh, Alaska, if all goes well. Uh, hey, Robert, did you ever check out the Park Advisor app on your cell phone? I think you'll like it. I've traveled the entire summer with it. You know, I don't have it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check it out. Steak, chicken, or fish? Steak, all the way. Medium. Hi, Robert. Uh, do you know Canada is having an election? I heard something about it, um, but not really. I'm, I don't watch the news too much anymore. <laughs> I'm from Belgium, 1, 10 a.m. here. Well, thank you so much for staying so late. And uh, Hunter Cooper, do you remember exit 138? Where they interchanging US 64, future I-87, third times the charm. I remember vaguely, but I don't know exactly. I drove through there, right? Uh, 
Robert, do you watch any sports or teams? If you watch NFL, sorry for the Dolphins. No, I've, not, I've never really been into football. I've been into baseball. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's, the, it's the one sport that I grew up watching that, you know, it's a... Uh, um, But no. Uh, new drone safe to the cloud so you wouldn't lose your footage, I believe. This my drone it does save into to the phone, but it's not the full quality footage. It's only 720p. So one time, that one time, uh, I I did use footage from the phone because I accidentally erased the the the, the, the card. But uh, yeah, and if, if there's internet, that's great that you can save to the cloud. But some of these places that, that I, I go out west, west there's, 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 there's no connection. Um, what, what did I miss? Catch me? me. Oh, we're almost done with the, with the, with the live chat. chat. You know, you know time, time flew today. today. It's been, I can't believe it's 7 14. I thought it was, uh, it's, 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 it was earlier. That is the time. Yeah, 7 14. Wow. Explore other states that you haven't been, that never been before. That's what, I'm, that's what I want to do in the spring. I want to go back to the northeast and see maybe Vermont. Although this time of the year would have been good for Vermont, but pretty much. To turn then around the north to Lake Superior into Winnipeg, right into the west. I don't, that, that, that's one version of the plan. I'm going to do Maine, Vermont, and New Hampshire again. Uh, do that area and then cross into Canada, uh, in Quebec, go to Toronto, and do the, like, the Trans Canada, and then at some point go down to North Dakota, which is the other state that I haven't seen. All right, everybody, uh, I'm going to start uh, wrapping this up. Do you ever have issues with your trailer swaying in crosswinds? I have a, I've had a few scares, and I had a few scares before. Check your mic. You have an echo big time, I do? What happened here? Oh, I think I know what's going on. Is it better now? No, that's not it. Oh, no, I, I killed it now. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, uh, uh, okay, yeah. Did I fix it? I did something wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Let me know if it sounds good now. I think I think I think I was um, doing both the the built-in mic in my MacBook and uh, and uh, the external mic at the same time. Did you turn on a flanger? Big echo. <laughs> that place is your home recording studio? Yes, it is. Good, better, love it. Okay, fixed. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't know what happened. Maybe I hit it with a mouse, mouse or something. Uh, we'll be in country walk tomorrow, uh, William Rosario. I have something to give you. Call uh, now. Everybody's gonna call you. <laughs> will save me pastish. All right. Um, is there a plan to fix the wear the tire wear issue? Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna see if I can get it fixed uh, early next year. Because I'm I'm not, I'm not before minutes on the mountain. But early next year, before before I do any more like long road trips, I'm gonna fix that. And uh, Charles Green, thank you for showing us the Western State. Enjoy Utah. Have you thought of traveling in the north northern part of the West, like Montana and Wyoming? I just came back from there and didn't do much Montana. I missed uh, kind of I missed uh, Glacier National Park that I wanted to see. But I went to uh, in Wyoming. I I visited the Tetons and uh, and Yellowstone. Amazing. <clears throat> All right, everybody. 
Uh, Haley family, looks like you're using your new mic. Yes, I am. Too much IPA funny. <laughs> I, um, I like the echo sound better. <laughs> that echo was kind of fun. Rubber sounded like we were in a big commercial. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to listen to it uh, after the fact. Uh, about got mugged at a rest stop in western Kansas. I've never felt unsafe at, at, at rest stops. There's always so many, uh, you know, semi trucks there. That. Um, um. All right. A Lucky Duck Productions moderator. Have a great weekend, Rubber, and thanks for a fun chat. Everybody, have a great weekend. I don't know where I put my guitar. My guitar. I gotta get me a guitar with a with a with a shoulder strap, so we can do this. On maybe tomorrow I'll I'll uh, not tomorrow next Friday we'll do the the piano. And see you next Friday. All right. I think I have to do it here now. Yes. Good night. <laughs>